What's up, everybody? Once again, it's Brand Man Sean, and we got to answer two questions. First is, what in the world happened to Ugly God? And second is, why I think he's going to have a nice little bounce back. Because there's only two artists that I'm really excited and rooting for this year. That's J. Cole and Ugly God. Now, I haven't talked about Ugly God on this channel since I dropped two videos on July 5th and two, July 8th of 2017, right before the booty tape dropped. That was a very significant point in his career. It was a turning point because when the tape dropped, generally speaking, people were disappointed. Not to say there weren't some fans, right? I love I'm Trying to Fuck. That's one of my favorite songs off that tape and of his in general. But generally speaking, people have branded it as a disappointment. Which brings me to something else that's really significant that nobody is talking about. And that's the fact that Ugly God being an artist on Asylum Records. Now, it's not the label itself that's important. It's really just the situation as a whole when we talk about where has Ugly God been? What's he been up to? Well, let's consider this situation. Asylum Records is a story record label. Been around for years and years, but it stopped and started a lot of times. Asylum Records came back and Ugly God was the very first artist. So you already know they were like, like, yo, ugly guy, we love you, man. We are going to invest in you. We are going to invest in you, man. You're our first artist. We want to build around you. You are important. You already know how that goes with the label deals, considering when you watch and look at what he's dropped so far, I'm guessing he had like a single deal. Water was his biggest hit at the time. And then maybe a mixtape and an album. So I'm thinking his album coming up will be possibly the end of his deal, but we'll get to that later. This is super important because when you consider the fact that Booty Tape was a failure and they looked at Ugly Guy as the first artist of the label, they probably wanted to build around him. He is like their primary asset. There is no bigger asset than Ugly God on that record label. Don't get it twisted. Ugly God still is big and has a legitimate fan base that's huge. And after Booty Tape didn't do what they thought it was going to do, they probably started panicking. They were like, what are we going to do? We don't have anything else like this. We have to reorganize some things. I'm sure a lot of stuff was going on in the background. I don't know what was going on. But when you look at the fact that he basically went the entire 2018 without making serious noise, they are trying to figure some things out. They have to be. So just take those things into consideration right here. Though This whole situation with labels and the back end business, it affects an artist success far more than fans believe. People say stupid stuff like, oh, somebody fell off when it's not really about anything that matters. It's not like people's music suck. It's, it has so much more to do with whether somebody sucks or not. But anyway, let's move on to the seven reasons that I think this dude about to come back on y'all boys. Number one, Ugly God has been introspective. You can see it. I love his Twitter account in terms of just the fact that when he tweets, a lot of times he tweets stuff that this seems pretty authentic to me. I don't know why I feel like it's authentic, but when I read his tweets a lot of times, it feels a little bit more authentic than a lot of troll type stuff or like I'm trying to come off as cooler than I am that you get from a lot of people's Twitter accounts. You can look at the cover for Bumps and Bruises, which is being teased for a minute, and that shows that he's being introspective. I actually love this cover so much. It's a picture that I like to keep in my head and as a reminder myself, it's so much meaning to this. That introspection that he's taken is so important because he's been aware of people's perception of him. He showed that on the uh, Just A Little Something Before The Album, putting people's comments on the cover. But at the end of the day, the very most important thing, which is why this is number one, is he decided he still wants it. How do I know? I don't know for sure. I ain't talked to Buddy, but based on the energy I've seen on his page, it, to me, it seems like he's thought about some things and decided, yo, I'm going to come back on these boys. Now, number two, Evolution. If you think about the Bumps and Bruises album cover, you saw that it was those two options, right? He explained that. And now, basically, he said he's choosing to evolve. If you can kind of, you know, make an interpretation off of that. And with that being said, you listen to his tracks. Listen to that teaser. To the bone, hate me now, but don't be sad when I'm gone. Took a break, yeah, but I'm back in my zone. I keep it real, never capping my song. The way his music sounds right now, it sounds like songs. Where before, a lot of the songs he had sounded like jokes, which were good jokes. It was funny, it was good songs, fun to sing, but they just sound like straight up songs. And he might inject some humor, but at the end of the day, they're just good songs first and foremost. And that's what I'm loving to see from Ugly God because I'm rooting for Buddy. Now, another thing that I like about his songs too, or just a small little sentence I've heard, is he's dropping little tidbits. Information that shows what he's thinking or maybe some of the things that he's been going through. So I'm curious to see what else that he might reveal. Number three, Ugly God is still the most unique 
artist of his meme category, in my opinion. Yeah, you got a lot of people like Lil Pump, you got a people like 6 9 but so many of their trolls play off of some very basic, superficial type things, you know, whether, oh, guns or violence or beef, like all those things are cool. Those trolls work. A lot of people do that. That's a dime a dozen. It's a lot of people trying to copy those people. That's a saturated part of memeing. Ugly guys, his character is based off of something that seems to be authentic to him, right? He has a unique sense of humor and a unique way of flipping things, and that's absent of the game. He could extend that talent into writing like scripts or, I don't know, stand up or just some other things that could play in different categories. Because his point of view and perspective is something that can't be replaced and bring something interesting and unique to the game. Number four, Asylum Record needs a win. Now this is just from an outside looking perspective. If y'all started a label based around this artist who was hot at the time, right? He had water, it was going, it seemed like the sky was the ceiling or the ceiling was the roof. Whatever that saying is, the sky was the limit, there it is. That's what it seemed like when they got Ugly Guy, I imagine. They're like, yo, we about to take off, we're gonna build around this guy, but that didn't happen. So a lot of those plans and projections and all that stuff that smart people do, that was thrown out the window. They're trying to figure things out. Ugly God is still a primary asset. How do we make sure this dude wins so we can win? Number five, fans still want to hear this guy. He has legitimate fans. So we talk about a lot of artists that, yeah, they do some things that are trolling or they happen to have this one hit that's cool, but they don't have an actual fan base. Ugly God doesn't have that problem. Because he brought something unique to the game and his perspective and was still just him himself, there was a lot of appreciation for him. He has legitimate fans. I'm a fan of Ugly Guy. And you can see that build up as fans still say, yo, they want to see his tracks. Like when Tay Keith said, yo, Ugly Guy, you got to drop this track. Or when he just posted other things alluding to his album dropping, like you still see legitimate interest in Ugly Guy. And of course fans want to see this guy win because if Ugly Guy's not doing stuff, if Ugly Guy's not winning, where else are you going to go to get things like a burner account completely dedicated to your next album dropping? Not only is that hilarious, but it's low-key an amazing marketing tactic. It's small, but it's big at the same time. Number six, the pure story of it. The fact that this guy rose the way he did, he kind of fell or he was in this low, and the fact that there's this whole kind of idea of him falling off that's out there to some people, him coming back is going to be an even better story. He's gonna win fans from people who weren't even full fans. They might've been lukewarm on, on him, or they might not have respected what Ugly Guy had going on at all, but when someone arises and then they fall and then they come back, it makes for a great story. It's the underdog story and people are going to rock with him heavier if he comes back in a way that people can appreciate. And again, I believe, but he is because, well, he's really showing some evolution in small tidbits from what I can see in what his music is going to sound like. And it just sounds dope for me. With that being said, it doesn't mean that Bumps' Bruises is gonna come back and it's like the biggest project in the world. It might just come back and be something very solid that just re-solidifies his new direction, his branding. And then the next project or the next single after the actual project drops, that's when he might may take off. But it's really gonna be a strong repositioning. That's what my prediction is. At the very least, it's gonna solidify him as, hey, this dude is here and he's here to stay. He has more keep watching them. And number seven, <laughs> last reason but not least, why I think this dude is gonna come back is simply because he has the best tag in the game, in my opinion. Thanks, ugly guy. Bitch, Thanks, bitch, guy. bitch, Thanks, bitch, guy. bitch, Thanks, bitch. And that's it. If y'all like this video, go ahead and hit the like button. If you like, you might as well share it. If you're not subscribed, you know what to do. Hit that subscribe button.